Super delayed on this tutorial, I promised it like two weeks ago, but I've been pretty busy. Uh, I have been filming, so I'm just going to be putting out content this week, be on the lookout, but uh, let's get straight to it. Uh, it's going to be really short, I'm just going to get straight to the point and how I graded this particular video uh, of me flying over El Morro in San Juan, Puerto Rico. So uh, we're just going to drag the footage right onto the timeline. Okay, as you can see, it's pretty flat off the bat. Uh, I'll, put, I'll use this point as a reference. Hold on. Pull it back a little bit. Okay. Uh, just jumped into basic corrections. Uh, let's see. Drop. Usually, I, I dip the blacks first a little bit. And I, I can't give you specific values as to how to grade your footage because every shot is going to be different but you can use this as a guide. I usually dip the blacks first and see where I'm at. I might even just do a quick comparison. Okay, I'm already getting more detail. Uh, we need a little more contrast. I'll bump the highlights up a little bit. Tinge of the shadows, it's not that necessary. I actually might keep it a little low. And the whites, you wanna bring it up just a bit. I usually try to keep it no more than 10 when it comes to uh, the Lumetri colors. Okay, now we'll jump down to the creative tab. This is where you're going to add your LUT. Now for this grade, I specifically used the M31 LUT created by Osiris. Um, this specific LUT is really kind of highlights the the blues and the orangey yellow tones um, it's very punchy but I'm gonna bring it down a bit so for this clip I brought it down about 50% from its effect the intensity slider there so already you can see if I toggle this on and off I'm gonna toggle creative off you see it goes very flat you toggle back on and your colors are punchy uh, I usually add faded film, maybe about 15, and I sharpen it to about 10. Again, this is all about personal preference. Uh, I had a few people suggest that I make a tutorial uh, on how I made, uh, how I color graded that video. Also, make sure that when you're filming, you have to choose the Cine Like D or D Cine Like uh, picture profile on the drone. That gives you pretty good dynamic range. Uh, it also maintains the color because you could use D-Log, but it's just gonna give you the super flat look. I don't like it to be too super flat off the camera. I like it to have, you know, some detail and color to it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe, like, share. Any suggestions or comments, please leave them below and I'll see you next time. Peace.